A cube is 3.5 inches on each side. Determine the surface area. A cube is a rectangular solid whose length, width, and height are equal, and therefore each of these six faces is a square as pictured here. The surface area is equal to the number of square units it takes to cover the outside of the cube. The surface area is given by the formula, capital S equals six times the square of little s, where big S is the surface area and little s is the length of each side. The formula for the surface area should make sense because the surface area equals the sum of the area of the six faces. In the case of a cube, the area of each face is the area of a square given by s times s or s squared, and therefore six times s squared does give us the area of all six faces, which is equal to the surface area. In our problem, each side has a length of 3.5 inches, which means this length is 3.5 inches, this length is 3.5 inches, and this length is also 3.5 inches, which means the surface area, capital S, is equal to six times the square of little s, which is the square of 3.5 inches. Notice here I did leave the units in the length of the side to emphasize the units of the surface area will be inches squared or square inches. But often the units are left off until the very end and the surface area is written as S equals six times 3.5 squared. Following the order of operations, we first square 3.5, which is 3.5 times 3.5. Before multiplying, notice how the first factor has one decimal place and so does the second factor. And because one plus one is equal to two, the product must contain two decimal places. We first multiply by five. Five times five is 25. Record the five, perform an exchange with the two. Next, we have five times three plus two, which is 15 plus two or 17. Before multiplying by the three, we place a zero in the rightmost place value below the five. Multiplying by three, three times five is 15. Record the five form an exchange with the one. Next we have three times three plus one, which is nine plus one, which is 10. Now we add five plus zero is five, seven plus five is 12, record the two, perform an exchange, one plus one is two, and we have one. Again, the product must contain two decimal places. Starting to the right of the five, we move the decimal two places to the left, one, two, giving us the product 12.25. The surface area S equals six times 12.25. And now to determine this product, let's use the commutative property of multiplication and determine 12.25 times six. Notice how the first factor has two decimal places. Six has zero decimal places. Two plus zero is two. The product must contain two decimal places. Multiplying by six, six times five is 30. Record the zero, perform an exchange with a three. Next we have six times two plus three, which is 12 plus three or 15. Record the five, perform an exchange with a one. Next we have six times two plus one, which is 12 plus one or 13. Record the three, perform an exchange with a one. And finally we have six times one plus one, which is seven. The product must contain two decimal places. Starting to the right of the zero, we move the decimal two places to the left, one, two. The product is 73.50, or just 73.5, which means the surface area is equal to 73.5 square inches. This tells us it takes 73.5, or 73 and one half square inches, to cover the outside of the given cube. Let's also write the result as a complete sentence. The surface area of the cube is 73.5 square inches. I hope you found this helpful.